I'm gonna read this boring ass uh, chapter of um, Think and Grow Rich. So information to be supplied in a written brief. <clears throat> this brief should be prepared as carefully as a lawyer. <clears throat> This brief should be prepared as carefully as a lawyer would prepare the brief of a case to be tried in court. Unless the applicant is experienced in the preparation of such briefs, an expert should be consulted and his services enlisted for this purpose. Successful merchants employ men and women who understand the art and the psychology of advertising to present the merits of their merchandise. One who has personal services for sale should do the same. The following information should appear in the brief. Number one, education. State briefly but definitely what schooling you have had and in what subjects you specialize in school given the reasons for that specialization. Two, experience. If you have had experience in connection with positions similar to the one you seek, describe it fully, state names and addresses of former employers. Be sure to bring out clearly any special experience you may have had which would equip you to fill the position you seek. Three, references. Practically every business firm desires to know all about the previous records, antecedents, etc. of prospective employees who seek positions of responsibility. Attached to your brief photostatic copies of letters from A. Former employers B. Teachers under whom you studied C. Prominent people whose judgment may be relied upon 4. Photograph of self Attach to your brief a recent unmounted photograph of yourself number five apply for a specific position avoid application for a position without describing exactly what particular position you seek never apply for just a position that indicates you lack specialized qualifications six state your qualifications for the particular position for which you apply give full details as to the reason you believe you are qualified for the particular position you seek. This is the most important detail of your application and will determine more than anything else what consideration you receive. Seven, offer to go to work on probation. This may appear to be a radical suggestion, but experience has proved that it seldom fails to win at least a trial. It seldom fails to win at least a trial. If you are sure of your qualifications, a trial is all you need. Incidentally, such an offer indicates that you have confidence in your ability to fill the position you seek. It is most convincing. Make clear the fact that your offer is based upon A, your confidence in your ability to fill the position, B, your confidence in your prospective employer's decision to employ you after your trial, C, your determination to have the position. So offer your work on probation. Eight, knowledge of your prospective employer's business before applying for a position, do sufficient research in connection with the business to fa uh, familiarize yourself thoroughly with that business and indicate in your brief the knowledge you have acquired in this field. This will be impressive as it will indicate that you have imagination and a real interest in the position you seek. Remember that it is not the lawyer who knows the most law, but the one who best prepares his case who wins. If your case is properly prepared and presented, your victory will have been more than half won at the outset. Do not be afraid of making your brief too long. Employers are just as much interested in purchasing the sal Employers are just as much interested in purchasing the services of well-qualified applicants as you are in securing employment. In fact, the success of most successful employers is due in main to their ability to, to select qualified lieutenants they want all the information available so don't be afraid to make your resume or, or your brief too long remember another thing neatness in the preparation of your brief will indicate that you are a painstaking person i have helped i have helped to prepare briefs for clients which were so striking and out of the ordinary that they resulted in the employment of the applicant without a personal interview when your brief has been completed have it neatly bound and lettered or typed similar to the following brief of the qualifications of your name applying for the position of blank
So this was his brief of the qualifications of Robert K. Smith applying for the position of private secretary to the president of the Blank Company Incorporated. Change names each time brief is shown. This personal touch is sure to command attention. Have your brief neatly typed or mimeographed on the finest paper you can obtain and bound with the heavy paper of the book cover variety. The binder to be changed and the proper firm name to be inserted if it is to be shown to more than one company. Your photograph should be pasted on one of the pages of your brief. Follow these instructions to the letter, improving upon them whenever your imagination suggests. Successful salesmen groom themselves with care. They understand that first impressions are lasting. Your brief is your salesman. Give it a good suit of clothes so it will stand out in bold contrast to anything your prospective employer ever saw in the way of an application for a position. If the position you seek is worth having, it is worth going after with care. Moreover, if you style yourself to an employer in a manner that impresses him with your individuality, you probably will receive more money for your services from the very start than you would if you applied for employment in the usual, conventional way. If you seek employment in the usual conventional way, no, if you seek employment through an advertising agency or an employment agency, have the, have the agent use copies of your brief and marketing your services. This will help to gain preference for you both with the agent and the prospective employers. Oh, he's saying so when they try, when, he, when you know, the agency has to get you work, so he's saying, have them use your brief to get you work. It'll make them be like, oh, you know, that's the first guy I'm gonna try to get a job because he's so prepared, you know? Brief is kind of like AKA uh, having a resume, kind of like the old school days when they wore suits to work and they had a suitcase. It's like really old school, huh?